First of all, congratulations. Uh, you just posted recently that you've lost uh, w a, an additional amount of weight. How's that journey been for you? Oh, my God. Well, Aaron, I mean, you've known me throughout the years. Um, I think anybody who's dealing with weight loss, weight gain, weight loss, weight gain, um, uh -huh. it, it's a journey. It really is a journey. It's a journey of discipline. It's a journey of hard work. It's a journey of persistence. It's a journey of self-acceptance. It's a journey of understanding. And throughout the years, I mean, I've, it's something that I've always battled with. It's, it's been a battle of going up and down, up and down. And not so much, not just a battle a battle of body weight it really comes down to being healthy mm -hmm. and you don't have to be thin to be healthy i've always promoted that but um you give into these temptations and you get off cycle and of course when you lose focus what happens you go back to old habits and when you go to old habits well you don't have the success that you're looking for right so, you know right now i could say i've lost over 200 pounds the yeah was 410 wow. today 200 pounds um, wow Still on the plus side, but I'm healthy. I'm active. I run 45 minutes, um, eating really clean, disciplined. And I think I'm just in a good place. And I've learned so much about myself, about my body, and what it really takes to create success and longevity, like to really stay in that place. And really comes down to psychology, mm -hmm. mechanics. Staying, staying driven and understanding why you're doing it, what you're doing. And it's not for looks. It really comes down to feeling healthy and just feeling good about yourself. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. You you mentioned to me that you kind of fluctuate a couple times, and and why? What can you contribute that to? What can I contribute that to? Oh my God, the love of food. I'm a natural foodie. <laughs> I love food. Right, right. Um, the temptation. Um, understanding what you're putting into your body. Okay, is it, asking yourself the question: Is this really going to serve me, or is this you know going to get me off track? And when your goal is to really get down to a healthy size. And, 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 and trust me, you don't understand. See, my worries before, and people need to understand when you're 410 pounds, was I confident? Yes. Did I have stressors? Absolutely. I had to worry, am I going to fit in a theater seat? Mm -hmm. I have to buy two airplane tickets because I didn't fit in one seat. Um, where I'm going, you know, is there seats around because I get tired, I have to sit down and take a little rest. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things. And when you're 410 pounds and you've been like that for a long time, those things are normal to you. As I started coming down, I'm getting it, you know, under 300 and where that wasn't so much of a problem anymore. It's like, wow, life is stress free. I don't have to worry about where I'm going. You know, what's going to happen? You know, if I'm too heavy for a ride, if I fit into a chair, you have quality life. And then mm -hmm. when it comes to movement, I'm not tired. I could go, 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 go all day because I don't have all that weight that I'm carrying around.